Hey guys, Linemaker here from Linemaker Studios, bringing you once Lion Maker was sexually hitting on a 15-year-old girl when he was 27. Lion Maker, are you sexually attracted to children? No. This is my video about what happened between Lion Maker and me online. Dear friend, do you remember the time where I stood in front of others and said you were a good person? Lion Maker, aka Marcus Wilton a children's Minecraft content creator that came to light as probably one of the creepiest and most immoral YouTubers of all time. From asking 15-year-old boys for nude photos to being in a relationship with a 14-year-old girl from Minecraft, Marcus has well and truly crushed his YouTube reputation over the years. But it wasn't always like this. How did Lion make a fall from grace? Going from 800,000 subscribers to a deleted channel to jail? back to YouTube to an average 50% dislike ratio? This one is another bumpy ride. So fellas, strap yourselves in as we cover the rise and fall of Marcus Wilton, AKA Lion Maker. Before we discuss the downfall, we have to first discuss the uprise of Lion Maker. However, since there's so much juicy content in the downfall, we'll make the uprise short and sweet. The original Lion Maker Studios channel was created on the 31st of January 2013 by Marcus Wilton when he was 24 years old. Lion Maker began uploading Minecraft content on the channel shortly after the creation, which caused the subscriber count to begin creeping up from the get-go. By July 2014, 1.5 years after starting the channel, Lion Maker was already at 30,000 subscribers. An indication that he was liked and well respected by the Minecraft community in the beginning. Lion Maker began playing Minecraft with many different notable individuals on the channel. Stampy Longhead, MZ255, and more significantly, a user by the name of Page the Panda. Today we're going to be joined by Page the Panda. Page the Panda is insignificant at this point in the story, however make sure you keep her in mind for later. Marcus's rise to fame was pretty similar to many other Minecraft YouTubers at the time. Doing Let's Play style videos, random challenges, and various collaborations all aimed at the children's audience. Lion Maker went from 30,000 subscribers in July 2014 to 65,000 subscribers by the end of the year in 2014. This was followed by 120,000 subscribers by April 2015, then 500,000 subscribers in September 2015. Again, as we mentioned previously, Lion Maker had a fairly insignificant but very fast uprise to fame, hitting 500,000 subscribers only 2.75 years after originally starting the channel. However, shortly after hitting 500,000 subscribers in September 2015, the downfall would begin for Lion Maker as his behaviour behind the scenes began to come to the surface. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get Roy into the news. Today on Drum Alert, we have a angry mother whose child had a very inappropriate interaction with a known YouTuber known as Lion Maker, a Minecraft YouTuber that's 27 years old. On the 15th of September 2015, Keemstar would upload a video on Drama Alert titled Lion Maker Asks Minecraft Kid for Nudes. This video interviewed a mother of a 13 year old English girl who at the time was a fan of Lion Maker. The mother, named Susie, had discovered that Marcus, aka Lion Maker, had been messaging her 13 year old daughter on Twitter asking for lewd photos. Then he asked her to send nudes. It was also revealed that Lion Maker was fully aware that the girl he was asking for naked photos was only 13 years old. Before he asked your daughter for nudes, did he know how old your daughter was? Absolutely, absolutely. I had an interaction with him and I said to him, you must bear in mind she is only a 13 year old child. Following this, Lion Maker tweeted out claiming that his Twitter had been hacked and it wasn't him who had asked the 13 year old girl for the pictures. This didn't really help his case because the lady in the video seemed extremely certain of what happened and the likelihood that Lion Maker was hacked was quite low. And seriously, why would some middle aged British lady want to come onto drugs? drama alert if this didn't really happen. What agenda would she have in trying to bring some random Minecraft YouTuber in his 20s undone if this didn't really happen? Something didn't really add up and the mother seemed much more believable than Lion Maker at the time. Lion Maker finished the tweet by words to the effect of, he will try and not let the audience down. However, let me assure you, Lion Maker certainly did let his audience down following this tweet. Asking a 13 year old girl for lewd photos was only the start of the drama. The floodgates really opened following this event and the Lion Maker channel really started to head down the toilet. 
In December 2015, three months after the original Drama Alert video, a conversation between Lionmaker and a 15-year-old male fan called Henry HD came to light. Lionmaker had attempted to proposition the boy into having fun with him, assumably inferring something involving sexual conduct. I'll let you pause and read the conversation, but as you can probably guess, this wasn't exactly good for Lionmaker's reputation. Following this incident with Henry HD, another 15-year-old boy came out explaining that Lionmaker had offered to pay him $500 for naked pictures via Skype. Skype. The individual by the name of Chinx Royale XD uploaded a 45 minute video in December 2015 where he showed screenshots and even called PayPal to have them read out the transaction live. He's like, oh hey, I'll send you some money on PayPal if you send me some nudes. I was like, what the f it was also in December 2015 when it came out that Lionmaker had been in an online relationship with 15 year old Paige the Panda, one of the regulars in his Minecraft videos. When Lionmaker was sexually hitting on this 15 year old girl known as Paige the Panda. And he also said that the two were having a relationship, the 27 year old Minecraft YouTuber and the 15 year old fangirl. Following this, Keemstar sent Lionmaker a short video saying that he needs to leave the Minecraft community because of all the allegations. This caused Lionmaker to snap, randomly tweeting about his relationship with Paige the Panda and confirming the allegations. Lionmaker then uploaded a naked photo of Paige, the 15 year old Minecraft YouTuber, to his Twitter. A bunch of YouTubers in the community then flagged the Twitter trying to get the account brought down for obvious reasons. Paige then tweeted out apologizing, likely because she knew that the photo would have been screenshotted and potentially distributed. Lionmaker then uploaded a video titled Dear Friend in March 2016, three months later, where he basically had a full-blown mental breakdown. Dear friend, do you remember the time where I stood in front of others and said you were a good person? Lionmaker called this video a poetic farewell. However, he still continued to upload videos after this. One of the videos uploaded after his so-called poetic farewell was a video where Lionmaker threatened to sue anyone slandering his name. Recently, I have been going around on YouTube finding videos which talk about me in a slandering manner. Now if you don't know what slander is, slander is a crime. It is my right to try the pos wherever I can, whatever possible means I have to take that video down, whatever those means are. They were wrong, I am right, <laughs> it's just as simple as it is. These videos give the audience a pretty good idea of Lion's instability by early 2016. The strange part about all of this is that Lionmaker didn't actually stop growing on YouTube. Many other YouTubers experience a loss in subscribers following drama or controversy. However, as we can see from this graph, Lionmaker just powered through, gaining approximately 150,000 subscribers during the six months of controversy from September 2015 to March 2016. In the same month of March 2016 when Lionmaker uploaded the Dear Friend video, Colossal is Crazy, a fellow British YouTuber, uploaded the video Lionmaker the King of Manipulation, where he basically highlighted and critiqued all of the events that had occurred with Lionmaker all the way up until that point. There's something clearly wrong with him and if you can't quite put your finger on it, consider where his fingers have been because apparently they've been inside children for the last few years. This video simply bring more publicity to the Lionmaker situation. But more importantly, it was the precursor to a video that would be uploaded on the 16th of November 2016 by Colossal is Crazy titled Lionmaker Interview. In this video, Colossal interviewed Lionmaker about everything that had happened in an attempt to get to the bottom of what was true and what was false. But what I'm trying to get from you here is, what do you consider a child to be? What age? Linemaker attempted to save his reputation in the video by denying what had happened. However, the evidence was so heavily stacked against him that it just had the opposite effect. He just made himself look even worse. Despite many sources saying this caused Linemaker to lose subscribers, if we go through the old archives, we can see that Linemaker actually went from 730,000 subscribers to 760,000 subscribers following the interview. An indication that despite making himself look like a fool, the publicity was still good for the growth of his channel. Despite the small boost in subscribers following the Colossal interview, Linemaker's reputation was clearly shot following the bulk drama and multiple videos from Keemstar. There was minimal explanation for the stuff he had done and by that point, proving his own innocence was almost a lost cause. After hitting 760,000 subscribers in November 2016, Linemaker continued to grow steadily until August 2017 when he hit 800,000 subscribers. This 800,000 subscriber milestone was followed by stagnation and a slow decline in subscribers until January 20th, 2017. 2018, when the original Lionmaker channel was deleted at 797,000 subscribers. After this, Lionmaker just kind of went quiet. 
Paige the Panda didn't publicly come out about anything that had happened between her and Lionmaker for three years following the incident, until she uploaded the video My Experience with Lionmaker on the 18th of December 2018. In this video, Paige detailed that she had been in an online relationship with Lionmaker from the ages of 14 to 17, and that Lionmaker had been extremely abusive during the relationship. The abuse happened from the age of 14 to 17. Paige also clarified that the lewd photos uploaded to Twitter were done by Lionmaker and he certainly wasn't hacked. There was no hacker. It was Marcus. Finally, Paige confirmed that Lionmaker definitely asked the 13 year old girl for nudes, which was the story originally covered on Drama Alert. 13 year old girl. I really want to address that, to be honest. I know it's not to do with me, but it was him. He was drunk. There were multiple people in the call with him that night, and he was drunk. It was Marcus that sent that message whilst drunk. This video was also important, as in the video, Paige explained that she had taken Lionmaker to court for the abuse as well as distributing her nude photos publicly on Twitter. Took him to court because for three years of my life we were in an online relationship, um, and in those three years it was basically just abuse, mental and sexual kind, so. Linemaker pleaded guilty. However, there were no charges except that if he was to commit another crime before 2023, he would be put back in prison for four years. We also found out in this video that Marcus, aka Linemaker, had gone to jail on other unspecified charges in December 2016. Did he end up going to jail? Uh, he did, but this was before the whole court thing actually happened. So December 2016 till October, till end of September, beginning of October. December 2016 was one month after the initial Colossal interview. Marcus stayed in jail from December 2016 to September 2017, which was confirmed by an email that was sent to Colossal is Crazy, where Marcus confirmed that he had been in jail on charges relating to the initial drama alert allegations. However, this confuses me, as if we go to the archive in July 2017, when Lionmaker was supposedly in jail, there were still uploads happening daily on the Lionmaker channel. Lionmaker also stated in a stream from February 2020 that he never went to jail. I've actually, Gary, that's a very good question. I think that's a question that always arises. Like, was I in jail? Was I in prison? What was the ordeal? It's a little complicated to explain, but I was never detained for any accusation. Like, I was never accused of anything. Like, I was suspected of things. I mean, to answer things kind of simply, I wasn't. I wasn't in prison. You know, I wasn't in prison. I wasn't in jail, um, as a lot of people like to suggest. However, if there's anything that the past has taught us, it's that Linemaker is the master manipulator and possibly he was just saying this to clear his record despite in fact being in jail. Perhaps someone else was uploading videos on the channel at the time, or perhaps he was on house arrest, or something where he still had access to his computer and just called it jail for the sake of understandable wording. I can't open any of the old videos to confirm if it was someone else uploading since they're all now deleted, but it's odd that the videos were still being uploaded despite Marcus apparently being in jail. Following Paige the Panda uploading her video in December 2018, Linemaker returned to YouTube in January 2019 with a new Linemaker channel which was posting Minecraft content again. Given the previous allegations and his tarnished reputation, many of the videos on the channel have a dislike ratio upwards of 50%. The channel currently has 40,000 subscribers, however it's questionable if the channel will ever return to the size of the previous channel given the history of Linemaker. So then it creates the closing question. What caused the downfall of Lion Maker? In some of our downfall videos, it's a point of debate. Sometimes it's the decline in popularity of the game, lack of innovation from the creator, or perhaps different drama. However, with the downfall of Lion Maker, I think the reasoning for his downfall has been made quite clear. I usually like to wish our downfall creators good luck on their future endeavors, but I really don't think Lion Maker deserves a good luck. In fact, I think it might be best if he's removed off YouTube altogether. Someone with his past, in my opinion, could be argued to have the potential to do way more damage to an audience than good. Regardless, that's just what I think, and this was Lion Maker's story. If you guys could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate the hell out of that, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.